so that we could go forth with what needed to go forth. I actually saw someone earlier that had a um, pulpit <laughs> in her house. <laughs> it tickled me. And it tickled me laughing at her, but it tickled me because I was like, yeah, I think I need to give me one of them for what I be going live. You know, <laughs> I need to give me one of them. I be sitting in my little computer room chilling when I go live. Uh, concerning that tickled me to be able to see that but listen let me tell y'all some stuff before i go into uh, releasing the word of the lord concerning some things listen i am drop dead serious if you are not losing uh, and, and 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 gaining a distaste for this world reevaluate yourself reevaluate reevaluate now we have to we live here we do we do. We live in this world, so there are things of this world that we use. There are. But I want y'all to think about how many things in this world that are really not of necessity. Huh? It's really not of necessity. Y'all seen um, this week that the governor released a um, kind of Scale me back a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm still reverbing on the blue one, on my mic. Scale me back some. Turn me down at the mic. Turn me up at the main, and see if that kind of stops. I'm, I'm reverbing back some. It's a, it's a lot of power in the house today. I knew it would be. And believe me, it's holy ghost surge. I feel real good in my spirit. If y'all noticed this week, um. The governor released a list. I don't think it's just our list. I think it's like all over the place. Uh, that said non-essential places. That's what it was called. Non-essential, you know, the essential and non-essential places that would be closing and all. And so it is to bring America to a place of realizing by way of the Holy Spirit what we really have to have and what we don't. Mm. Y'all hear me? What we have to have and what we don't. Mm. Uh, can you just say to yourself, just just tell yourself this. Don't don't worry about telling your neighbor. Tell yourself this because I ain't with the tell your neighbor nothing stuff. I'm about a preacher that say tell yourself. Tell yourself because you can. That's the problem in in church now. They want to tell other folk too much stuff and don't want to tell yourself nothing. You better know how to tell yourself. You better get in the mirror and talk to yourself, see? Because you ain't going to have it until you get it. Your neighbor can gain the victory all day long and you can still be in defeat. It's not going to work for you till you tell yourself. So tell yourself this right here, right quick, like back to the basics. You might want to tell yourself that. Back to the basics, okay? Back to the basics. Back to the basics. Back to the basics. Because whenever we find ourselves in places where we get so caught up into stuff and we forget the basics. We forget the basics. Let's take a relationship. Two people realize that they want to be in relationship with each other. They Google eyes for one another. She's the cutest thing. He's the most handsomest thing. Ain't that right, Beetle? Just the most handsomest thing, boy. Just but when he walks into the room, her, her face just lights up. When she walks into the room, his face just lights up. His heart immediately begins to say, There goes my baby. Soon as she walks in the room, it all just lights up and all that type of stuff. Right when they start, people can look and see that they are in love with each other that he oh he likes her she likes him they have you know they're just getting so intimate into in with each other and they're talking on the phone until they fall asleep on the phone don't want to say bye to each other where you gonna be at tomorrow soon as i get off of work i'm coming over all that type of stuff right when it first gets started but then after a year, the calls diminish. Huh? 
Oh, now things are a little different, you know, things are different and all. And so someone comes along and say the same thing you got, you did to get him. You got to do to keep him. The same thing you did to get her, you got to do to keep her. So in other words, what they saying is, go back to the basics. <laughs> go back to the basics. You've allowed yourself to get too far out there. You've allowed yourself to leave from the peaceful shore. Allowed yourself to get caught up into too much other stuff and you've forgotten the reason why you ever got together. You've forgotten the passion, the intimacy, the desire for one another. You've forgotten that. And so this week the Lord was dealing with me and there was, uh, there was two things the Lord said to me. One was so heartening, so disheartening to me. Um, Uh, He was talking to me about the word return, about returning back to him. But he would say to me, it hurt my heart. He said, Delphine, listen, Uh, there, 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 there are some situations as to where there can't be a returning to me because there was never a coming to me. It broke my heart. I'm just telling you what he said to me. It broke my heart. He said, there are so many cries that are coming out now where people are saying, return to the Lord, return to the Lord. He said, but they ain't ever came. So literally, how can you return somewhere, somewhere you haven't ever been? Huh? Do you not understand, baby, that there has been so much of a form of godliness that has gone on? I said, really, God? He said, yeah, even with you. I said, shut up. Shut up. But keep talking. And so the thing of it is, listen, I'm being honest with y'all. Straight, straight, that's all I know to be. Check it out. The Lord said, evaluate the conversations. The conversations that you have with me. What am I? Am I used more of a sugar daddy? Mm-hmm. Who's your daddy daddy? Mm-hmm. Am I used more of a sugar daddy? Hmm. See, there's a difference between a sugar daddy and a father. A father, the children knows that he's going to provide. So they don't have to use any type of manipulation to gain from their father. But from a sugar daddy, it is a form of manipulation. Oh, check it out. Yeah. And so a father, as we look into things, I got to go here. This is not even part of my message, but I'm going to go here because I sense it. As a father... When we look even at the prodigal son, the prodigal son went to his father and asked for his inheritance. See, so in other words, that lets us know that the prodigal son knew that there was something that belonged to him. See, there was something that belonged to him. It's mine. Why is it mine? Because you're my father. That's why it's mine. So when you know that God is your father, you know that there are things that belong to you. That belongs to you. But now think in the mind of someone that gets a sugar daddy. That's someone that has watched this individual and see what they have. It's not theirs. And so now I need to twerk a little bit to get it. I got to drop like this to get it. I got to shake it like a salt shaker to get it. See? See? This is not mine. So I got to use a form of manipulation in order to get it. See? And so the Lord would say, return. So wait a minute. 
Y'all won't be scared if you find when you find out the truth, because you're gonna find it out. Mm-hmm. Whether you are returning or whether you are coming. Whether you are returning or whether you are coming. The evaluation that has to be done within us right now is to make the decision for the Lord to allow us to know whether we are returning or whether we are coming. Because a lot of us think we are returning but ain't ever came. Hmm? Returning is, Lord, I've been there. So I know what it's about. I just maybe allow something to knock me away from you. I just allow some circumstances and some situations to to get in the way. You know, maybe there was something on the inside of me that had not been dealt with that caused me to walk away, caused me to move away. Uh Uh-huh. The prodigal son, when you look and just go into the depths and think of, there had to be something going on inside this young man. It had to be. It had to be. Something that was going on inside of him because he had everything. He had everything. He had access to it all. And you know that they had it all because when he came back, the Bible says that his father killed the fatted calf, put on a robe, Lord, have mercy. Hey, Marie. So that lets you know he had it all. But there was something inside of him. What do you do when there's something inside of you? What do you do when what's inside of you is hindering you? When what's inside of you is blocking you? When what's inside of you It's literally defrauding you. Because it was an attempt to rob that boy out of everything that he was entitled to. Everything. Now check this out. You automatically, let me talk to y'all today. It's going to be real, real. I don't know what's happening. It's a lot of power. That's all I can tell you. It's a lot of power, baby. Y'all don't mess around and let me be shot up in the house. Wrong mistake, devil. Wrong mistake. If he ever want to keep me, he need to keep me busy. Wrong mistake. She done sat down. She done sat down. She even cooked last night. So you know something going on. And, and, and it was good, too. So you know something going on. Oh, my. And so check this out. Let me tell y'all something. I want to show y'all something in this right here. Yeah, give me, give me that one. Let me use that one. Let me show you something in that to see if this will do better. My mic is cutting up. My mic. Now, if this one cut up, you're going to know. You're going to know if this one cut up that it's really something going on. Now, I use it like this. All right, so check this out. Thank you, B. Okay, so this is the thing. Let me show y'all something in this with the prodigal son that the Lord gave me revelation on. Look where he went back to. He went home. No, no. When he left home, yeah. look where he went. He went where? To the world. He went to the world. He went to the world. Y'all see that? So what they let you know is the place that he was was his right place. His righteous place. Because when he left that place, he went to the world. Ended up in a pig's den. Ended up losing everything. Not some. But he ended up losing everything. Everything. But check this out. The attitude that he had. His daddy didn't put him out. He went to the daddy himself. With his big bold bad self. He went to his daddy and said, give me my inheritance.